Mueller with the header. And that's a goal. Oh, look wow. at Mueller get another one. Well, after the Cal game, I, I did reflect uh, on my many years in the game, and uh, I, I couldn't quite come up with um, an experience that, uh, that would match that, actually. And, um, you know, I'd be hard-pressed to find anybody uh, on that field to have a similar experience. Uh, fortunately, we were on the good end of that. And, uh, you know, I think more exciting for fans than it was for the people involved, to be honest with you. Um, but I think when it's, when it's all said and done, um, three points uh, at, a, at a place like Cal is three points. And it's, it's massive, it's valuable. Um, but when, when we reflect on it, there were a lot of things that uh, we, we'd want to fix uh, going forward because there are certainly uh, areas that if uh, we want to continue to progress, we want to we make right. Well, the sweep Cal uh, is uh, quite a feat because, as, as, as you mentioned, it's been, been quite some time since that happened. And I have uh, the utmost respect for that program, uh, what they've done uh, in the conference uh, since uh, the last uh, decade or so has been, has been you know, quite remarkable. And so for us to go and do that is, is a benchmark, you know, and we, we're, trying to, we're trying to establish benchmarks and watermarks for our players so that you know, when we do uh, make you know, those types of statements, well, there, there are things that, uh, that we can continue to progress on because we're still a, a work in process and, and the guys know that, but uh, to have that happen and for them to earn that was, uh, was a good uh, feather in their cap. The Stanford game uh, is always going to be a tough one, and you look at the different motivations going on. Stanford, at that time, was trying to, to, to win a Pac-12 title, and they needed a win, and it was their senior day. And so you got all those pieces that we were up against. But uh, I thought our guys were very good at uh, uh, absorbing that initial onslaught that you know you're going to get when you play Stanford, and you know going into half being being uh, nil-nil, and then. You know, Stanford was able to get theirs, but uh, we responded. And I think where we feel uh, pretty hard done by is that we didn't, uh, uh, you know, keep it locked down in the last five minutes. And that's something that uh, I know the boys really pride themselves on. And, and those are the little, little small margins that uh, we want to get right because that's the difference of, uh, of, of progressing and, and going as far as you want to go. So I think there's a lot of positive to take away from that. Uh, certainly. The biggest positive is to get a result there, which didn't happen. But I think there are so many other things that we're going to really reflect on going into this next weekend. Yeah, the, the, the freshmen have, have done ever so well for us. You know, there's, there's no doubt about that. And, and, and Timmy and Jordan have, have, have really shown that, and it's been reflected in statistics. And, you know, goals paid the rent. And, you know, when you have uh, two young players like that that are able to get on the score sheet, um, it really, really says uh, a lot about them and, and about the future of what we're trying to do here. Um, but I think it, it would be remiss not to mention some of the other freshmen that have put in a lot of minutes, maybe they don't get the statistics. You know, you look at a guy like Graham Smith, who uh, quietly does his job in the center of the midfield and gives those attackers chances to go forward. And, and you look at uh, Jalen Markey, uh, who has uh, done very, very well stepping in at center back, which is very difficult to do in this conference. And Sam Tweeten, uh, another freshman who stepped in. And you know the list can go on and on of, of guys that have done really well that this is their first year. But in order for those freshmen to do what they do, they have to have some type of leadership and platform. And without the leadership of the team, uh, and, and, this, and in particular the upperclassmen, you know, the, the seniors, it's difficult for freshmen to do that. And so when you look at Timmy and Jordan, then you get to look at Kyrie Shelton. You know, Kyrie Shelton's gonna attract a lot of attention and gives those guys opportunities to play. You know, you look in the back, you look at Matt Persano and Will Seymour, Matt Persano and Will Seymour, Brendan Anderson. You know, those three seniors in the back give the younger guys an opportunity to kind of cut their teeth without having those, those uh, bad learning curves that you get sometimes. And so, you know, I, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll certainly uh, give a lot of credit to the, the leadership there, but to, to be freshmen in this conference and do so well like our guys have done um, speaks well of what they've done to get here, what they're doing to move forward this season and the future of this program. You know, the games against Washington are always something. And, uh, you know, on, on any year, there's, there's something on the line, right? And uh, this is uh, no different this year. And, even if there was nothing on the line, there's always something on the line. And, uh, you know, we have that most respect for, for that program. And, um, you know, uh, 
fought hard uh, the last time we played them, which seems like six months ago. Um, but uh, you know, we come back around, and you know, we'll we'll have to go up and, and put a shift in and do a job there. And and uh, you know, the guys are looking forward to it because uh, this is another opportunity to continue to make progress. And you know, the you know, for 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 the guys that went through that first game, now they know what to expect in these kind of you know rivalry matches. And so we're just looking forward to it. It's it's always a good game. Um, when it's all said and done, you know, I think the fans do benefit because it's a, it's quality college soccer at the highest level and we're just thankful to be a part of it and, you know, gives us, again, another opportunity to keep progressing as a program.